anything special. I mean, we could see obviously um, both teams run shooting the three very well. Um, it's just it was just a bad night for us from the three point line. I mean, it's gonna happen. It's gonna be games where we don't we don't we struggle from the three point line, but we got to learn to adjust quicker. And that's for like that's what ended up being our problem. Kellis. Yeah, Nigel, just what was the difference between first half, second half when you turned the switch and started to cut into their lead? Uh, I just felt like we came out more aggressive. I mean, we took what the defense were giving us. They were trying to ice stuff really high, and we just took advantage of it and, and drove hard to the basket. Um, I felt like first half, we kind of overthought things. Um, we tried to make things a little bit more complicated than what they were. Um, the second half, we came out aggressive. Uh, we punched back and we fought, and maybe we was able to get it close, but just, just a little too late. Thanks, Nigel. Cole, you got a question? Yeah, Nigel, I was just curious if you could talk about the uh, fans here at the T-Mobile Center and just what was the energy like for you on the court? Oh, it was beautiful. I mean, hearing all our fans rooting and cheering for us. I mean, they took over the whole arena for stretches of time. Um, when we were on big runs, um, we heard them cheering. I mean, it, it definitely felt great for us to get that energy behind us. Um, definitely definitely gra um, grateful that the crowd was able to come out here in KC and cheer us on. Ryan. You guys got a game tomorrow night against Illinois. What's the key to kind of just turning the page and forgetting about this one and focusing on the next game? Uh, coaches tell us to have short-term memory. I mean, as soon as midnight hits, we need to forget about this game and move on to the next one. I mean, we got another big opportunity to play another great team, um, to be able to come out, you know, take things that we learned from, from today and move on to tomorrow and come out and do better. All right, Michael. Nigel, was anything lacking about your ball movement in the first half? Uh, I mean, I, like I said, I mean, I feel like we just we just kind of overthought things in the first half. I mean, second half, we came out and we did what we do best. Um, we, we took what the de defense gave us. Uh, we attacked them, and then we was able to get layups and, and driving kicks. I mean, sometimes I feel like first half, we, we kind of overthought things of what we thought they were going to do, but we just didn't read it as well as we should have. Cole? I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, Nigel, I was just question, curious, yeah. what's the um, what's the overall attitude like in a locker room right now? Is this kind of a game where you can use this momentum you had in the second half and carry it over to tomorrow? I mean, yeah, we all know it's early in the season. This this game did not define us or break us. Um, it's a good early test. I mean, we felt like we were really good. I mean, we were right there at the end. I mean, it's definitely some learning lessons that we're going to get from watching film. I mean, going through the game, we obviously see that we can't, you know, give a, a team that much of a lead. Um, but tomorrow, I feel like we, we can take some things from it. I mean, we're going to get back, we're going to learn, and we're going to come out tomorrow, and we're going to have an even better game. Ryan? Hey, uh, Nigel, just, just how tough was it to, to watch? You know, you're trying to make that rally. They, their, their player here, Chris Lights, he goes 10 for 10 free throw line, final two minutes. It basically just kind of prevents you guys from coming all the way back. I mean, uh, obviously, he knew he was a great free throw shooter, and his team knew as well. I mean, uh, we were trying to even get the ball out of his hands after we seen he made a few. Um, but he he just kept making sure that he, he was the one going to the foul line, which is a pretty smart play by him. But I mean, it, it really sucks. I and mean, we were hoping, praying for a couple of misses. Um, we ended up getting, you know, maybe one miss out of how I many average shots they shot it. But I mean, it was just credits to him. He, he was a smart basketball player and, you know, did what he did best. Thank you, Nigel. All right. uh, thank you, Nigel. We'll uh, move on to Selma Miguel. Thanks, Nigel.